హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ లవ్స్ పరోటా టుడే ఐ విల్ బి షేరింగ్ సంథింగ్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ అండ్ యూనిక్ వే ఆఫ్ మేకింగ్ పరోటా అండ్ లైక్ ద నార్మల్ వన్ వెల్ దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ మై రెసిపీ ఐ అడాప్టెడ్ ఇట్ ఫ్రామ్ ద ఫేమస్ సెలబ్రిటీ కలినరీ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ లక్ష్మి నాయర్ ఫ్రమ్ కేరళ లెట్స్ బిగిన్ బై ప్రిపేరింగ్ ద డో టేక్ మైదా ఆర్ ఆల్ పేపర్స్ ఫ్లోర్ అండ్ యాడ్ ఇన్ ఎగ్ ఇన్ టు ఇట్ add in salt as needed now add in sugar and oil and give it a mix i'm just mixing just to incorporate everything nicely now add in water little by little to make a dough the dough should be super soft and i would say it should be like a chapati dough I have added nearly 1 and a half cups of water. So do not add the water in one go, add little by little to get the right consistency of the dough. Actually I shared a short video of this paratha making in our channel. That is the second most highly viewed video. Hence I thought of sharing this recipe here. Our dough is ready now. It must be a bit sticky only at this point of time. Now add in 1 tablespoon of oil and knead the dough nicely. Our dough is super soft and you should be achieving this consistency to make parotta. Now cover it and let the dough rest in for 4 hours. After resting the dough for 4 hours, let's move on to the next step. I'm just going to work on the dough on the kitchen countertop. I'm just dusting maida or all-purpose flour and kneading the dough nicely. You have to sprinkle some maida and knead it into a soft, non-sticky dough. Shape the dough like the way I'm doing. Now divide it into two equal parts. You can make 11 to 12 parottas out of half a kilograms of maida. I'm just dividing the dough into 11 parts. I just love the show Magic Oven which is hosted by Lakshmi Nair Chechi. I was inspired to make lots of desserts by seeing her show. They used to telecast the show on every Sunday in Kairali TV. So after coming from church, I used to watch her show. But now she has her own YouTube channel which is Lakshmi Noyer. I have divided the dough and making it into balls. Now we have to roll the dough by dusting it with maida. I am not going to roll this as thin as possible. Just roll it to a reasonable size as I am showing here. To be frank, I am not good at rolling into a perfect round shape. We need 1 cup of sunflower oil to work on this dough. Spread some oil. on to the kitchen counter top or wherever you're going to set this parotta sprinkle in some maida so that it doesn't stick to each other now place the roll dough on top of it now add in 1 teaspoon of oil and spread it evenly i must admit the fact that parotta needs lots of oil so be generous in adding more oil Now sprinkle in little maida onto the rolled dough. We are going to repeat the process what we have done earlier. I used to make paratha once in two months so there is nothing harm in adding more oil into it. Another thing is that the counter top will be really messy while making paratha. So cleaning work will be more after making it. 
I have rolled out the dough and going to layer it on to the top of the greased parotta. Add in a teaspoon of oil and spread it evenly. Now sprinkle in little maida on top of it. Make sure not to sprinkle more maida. The oil will absorb that and you won't be getting that soft parotta. We have to repeat the process and arrange each parotta on top of it. First we have to place the parotta. Then spread some oil and sprinkle some maida on top of it. We have to spread enough oil so that it doesn't stick to each other. This is really simple to make and you'll be getting that flaky soft parotta. This video might seem quite lengthy because I want to show you clearly on how to make this parotta. I have rolled out all the parottas. On the topmost layer, we have to apply only oil. Do not sprinkle maida on top of it. I'm just spreading the remaining oil on the parottas. Cover it with the lid and let it rest for two hours. You can even cover it with a cloth. After resting the dough for 2 hours, we can move on to the next step. Here comes the magic. You have to gently pull out each parotas like the way I'm showing. Look at it friends. I'm not putting much effort to make this parota. Once the dough is stretched, roll it around your fingers like the way I'm showing. I was just blown away by seeing this technique of making parotta. You do not need to put much effort to make this parotta. It's very simple. As I said earlier, you have to use enough oil and less maida while layering the parotta. If you use less oil, you wouldn't be able to stretch the dough. So follow the measurements of the ingredients exactly what I have shown here. It's really beautiful to watch the way the dough stitches out. Look at the rolled out parotta friends, how transparent it is. If 
you want to double the quantity means make two sets of layered paratha like this so each batch will have 10 10 parathas even the bottom most paratha stretches nicely i just love to make this paratha now after knowing this technique i'm just applying few drops of oil on top of it cover it and leave it for 15 minutes after 15 minutes we can roll out the parotta just stretch the parotta with your hands like this you can apply oil on your hand while stretching you shouldn't put more pressure while rolling the parotta if you put more pressure you won't be getting that flaky layered parotta Spread the parottas gently with your hands. Now let's move on to our final step which is cooking the parottas. Heat the tawa and cook the parottas in medium flame. Add little oil while cooking because our parotta already has oil in it. Cook on both the sides. Our parotta has cooked well. get lays into a parotta just beat along the sides like the way i'm showing the parotta must be hot while doing this The parotta is flaky, soft and tastes exactly like the way we get it from the shop. Do try this parotta and subscribe my channel if you like it. I served it with royal chicken and grape sponge. I'll share the recipe link in the description below. I hope you like this video. 
I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.